Hi, I'm Third, and I'll be the navigator of this video. Here are the topics we will cover. CRT, VHS, and SENSE. Let's begin with CRTs. CRT is an abbreviation for cathode ray tube. Here's a chart showing the US inputs that will commonly be seen on either the front or the back of CRTs. So these are your RCA and AV cables. This is what allows a connection to your CRT. This is an example of what a VHS and the synth look like once connected to your CRT. The rescan method is nothing more than pointing the camera at the screen. Here's an example of me using my iPhone to record my VHS screen. A digital capture is nice for a fluid workflow. You will need OBS and this $10 cable from Amazon, link in description. Do keep in mind that there will be no pixel effect that you would get from a normal rescan. So yeah, let's talk a little bit about synths. This is actually the first synth that I bought back in uh, 2020 before I got into any of the CRT or synthesis world. Um, I basically just wanted to have something simple that I could like glitch my uh, VHS tapes. So I actually got this VCR first and this um, TV off of eBay for like 50 bucks before the whole hype of everything. Like, I don't think you can find the CRT on eBay for under $50 anymore. After my first one, um, this one was about $150. I wanted something a little more just because it only provided me with one input and one output. I know I could have gotten like um, RCA splitters. I know that now at the time I didn't know that. So that's why a video like this um, would have benefited me, but it's all good. I then upgraded to this um, new synth that I've, um, I haven't gotten any new ones as of this one, because this one was about $444. So it is really cool, but the main reason I got it was because it provides me with two outputs, which is how I am getting this whole setup going. I don't currently have this one synced up with this one right now, but that's what I use this one for. I use this TV's output to connect to that, then to connect to this. This is a DVD player I found running its own visual. But yeah, if you want like a more technical breakdown, um, you can go check out Yovazal's page. Really good content, really good creator. Yeah, let me know down in the comments if you have any more questions about this synth, that synth, or just anything in general when it comes to CRTs. I'm here to help and yeah. And for the people that stuck around to the end, if you follow me on TikTok, you've probably already seen this, but I'm gonna show you how to get your PlayStation 4 or any HDMI type of um, output into a CRT, so. As you can see it's turning on there now we got the signal output here and yeah this is just overall um something i like to do for fun just when i want to create a little bit of a nostalgic vibe for games that aren't so nostalgic you know you can see here i'm scrolling live and this is the same exact way that you would connect a pc to a crt so let me show you what I'm using, I'm going to have the links um, in the bio for where you can get all of this. As you can see here, I'm not taking good care of this wire. So probably gonna have to buy another one soon. But yeah, just make sure it's saying input for your HDMI and your output is RCA and you'll be all set. So this is leading to the CRT and this is leading to the PlayStation. And as easy as that, you can have an HDMI connected to your CRT. Thanks for sticking around and let me know if you have any more questions. Peace out.